And now we'll have a look at our articles. We can divide articles into these groupings. Indefinite using a or an an. Definite using the. And oftentimes, referred to as the zero article, is actually the absence of an article altogether. With the indefinite article, we use it in a non-specific way. This is a pen. It's one of many pens. When using the definite article, we use it in a specific way. This is the pen I'm using. We also use the indefinite article when mentioning something for the first time. I have a boy and a girl. We use the definite article when mentioning that same thing an additional time, or any additional times we mention it. So, I have a boy and a girl. The boy is eight, and the girl is six. With the zero article, we don't use an article at all. We use it to talk about things in general, or when we talk about all things together. So here, I would not use a or an, and I would simply say, pens are used for writing or children go to school. When looking at our articles, we have to remember that they always precede nouns. When looking at a versus an, many people consider this to be a differentiation between spellings. The noun will either start with a vowel or a consonant. More accurately, this should be described with how the noun sounds. Does it start with a vowel or a consonant sound? Let's look at the two words our and university. While our starts with an H, it actually sounds like it starts with a vowel sound. The resulting sentences are, I'll be there in an hour. Again, that's an hour. University starts with a U, a vowel. However, it sounds like it starts with a Y, Y, university. However, when we write it or when we say it, we say it with an A, the A article. An example sentence could be, Cambridge is a university in England. And finally, let's take a look at our conjunctions. Conjunctions are linking or joining words. For example, and, but, and or. Take these two sentences. Independent clauses, I like fish, I don't like shrimp. We would use but in here and we could easily make one sentence. I like fish, but I don't like shrimp. If I wanted to say that I like fish, I like shrimp, I would simply say and. I like fish and I like shrimp. Or could be used in giving choices, such as in the question, do you like fish or shrimp? 